This video will cover the mechanism of action for digoxin. Digoxin is a medicine that can be used to treat heart failure because it increases the heart's ability to contract and it can also be used to treat some types of heart arrhythmias thanks to its ability to slow down the conduction of electrical signal in the heart. And so in this video, we will take a closer look on exactly how the digoxin drug achieves this. So basically, digoxin works by affecting the actions of two different channels. And I've broken it down into steps so that we can see exactly what happens when digoxin has its effect. Digoxin will bind to the sodium potassium channel and block its natural effect that is to transport sodium out of the cell and potassium into the cell. And so what happens when digoxin binds to the channel and blocks the sodium will no longer be transported out of the cell and therefore they will accumulate a lot of sodium inside of the cell. This accumulated amount of sodium will affect the transportation of a different channel. But first, let's forget about this accumulation of sodium and we'll have a look at the normal function of this new channel. This channel is a sodium calcium exchanger. It works by transporting three sodium into the cell in exchange for one calcium. Now let's have a look at how this calcium sodium exchanger works while we have this accumulation of sodium that happened thanks to the digoxin blockage. This accumulation of sodium inside of the cell causes this exchanger to, works ag to work against its, its concentration gradient and therefore it will transport less calcium out of the cell and thereby we will have both an accumulation of sodium and calcium into the cell and it's this accumulation of calcium that will affect the contractility of the heart muscle. Here we see a illustration of a striated muscle fiber with the sarcoplasmatic reticulum illustrated in blue. But digoxin doesn't work on the striated muscle fibers. It works on the muscle cells of the heart. I only showed that last picture of the muscle fiber to remind everybody that even inside of the heart muscle cells we have a sarcoplasmatic reticulum where calcium is stored. And as we've all just seen, thanks to digoxin, we have an accumulation of calcium inside of the heart cell and therefore an accumulation of calcium that is stored inside of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and an increased amount of calcium that will be then released during the polarization of the heart cell. The calcium then binds to the actin fibers and causing a larger contraction than what we would have seen if we wouldn't have as much calcium released. That explains why digoxin causes an increased heart contractility. But digoxin also has an effect on the electrical conduction of the heart. Specifically the atrioventricular conduction that is illustrated right now. From what I've read, the mechanism of decreased atrioventricular conduction is not fully understood yet but it's believed that digoxin has a stimulating effect on the parasympathetic nerve of the heart, the vagal nerve, which then slows down conduction. And that was all for this video. If you liked it, you could please subscribe. And also you can join our Discord server, which you will find the link in the description below.